It's funny because TikTok, we say this all the time now, we see it. TikTok starts almost every viral trend online right now, all of them. All of them. So you see a trend on TikTok, two weeks later you see it on Facebook. Three weeks later, you see it on Instagram. Like TikTok, I see viral videos on TikTok that I don't see on other platforms for a long time, which means TikTok is the foundation of viral content right now. It's where the foundation of value is. That's why from a marketing standpoint, anyone that's hesitating TikTok is kidding themselves. TikTok is going to be huge. It is the foundation of most of the video content that exists right now. And you just said it, TikTok, People are taking TikTok videos, exporting them, and sending them through WhatsApp. Yep. That just shows the virality of what that is going to, going to entail. So then, what don't you like about TikTok? Uh, it's a lot. Like, if I open TikTok, I won't know if time passes and just the videos keep going, keep going. <laughs> Cause it's, because TikTok is... It offers so much value, you can't stop scrolling the For You page. What TikTok did so good is... When I talk about value to any platform, right? When I say emotions, telling stories, solving problems, what TikTok did so good is they hit emotions because what music does, what those tracks do is they engage emotions that other platforms don't have. When you just post a static video to Instagram with no music, yes, you're connecting with a person. Yes, maybe there's a story. Yes, maybe there's a little bit of emotions, but now all of a sudden you add a beep and it's bumping and it's exciting and the emotions goes up. So it connects on a different level. That's why TikTok is so addicting. Mm -hmm. That's why that viral content grows. Those trends big, grow. Big it's, it's huge. And the fast, the video format rather than photos, there's been some talk recently of people saying that TikTok should start allowing photos so that they compete fully with Instagram. I want TikTok to do, to do the reverse move. I think if TikTok adds pictures, I think you've got a real fight. I disagree wholeheartedly. I think they should stick only to video because if they do that, remember, a photo says a thousand words. Video has 24 photos per second. 24,000 words per second. And then you have 15 second videos on, on TikTok that just pack all of this information. That's, that's why TikTok is so exciting. I don't think they should go to photos. I think they should stick to video. Video is the future. Video is what people's connecting with. Maybe if they wanted to do anything with photos, the only recommendation I'd have for TikTok is only do stories with photos. So timeline, all videos. Maybe add a stories feature that has photos only, no videos. So now you counter both. You have stories to compete with Instagram, only photos. Only what you do day to day, but only photo format. TikTok then will still have their timelines filled with a bunch of valuable content, trends, exciting content that offers value to the audience through the timeline. That would be a unique feature, but still, if, if, I was, if we just look at it, they're doing so good because they're only offering video and I think they should stick to their core competency and not try to go after all of Instagram all at once because they're already pulling a huge market share. Yeah, around the world, TikTok is going to be it's going to be big and people hesitating it are going to kick themselves down the road because um, it has a lot of value, it has a lot of power and all of the people on it right now yeah. are going to be buying products soon. So getting on it now allows you to capitalize. Getting on it later, you're gonna be investing a lot of time and money to catch up. Let me just leave, if Q takes these clips and puts it into a YouTube video, get on TikTok.